Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. I'm going to be doing something a little different this time. Instead of bringing you just one advanced tip or three random tips, I'm going to be showing you 10 basic tips and tricks for beginners. So if you're new to Fallout 4 and just starting your first playthrough, you haven't figured everything out yet, you will probably find many of these tips helpful. But if you've got one or more playthroughs under your belt, chances are you've heard of these before or figured them out on your own. So they may be old news for you guys. But who knows, maybe even you veterans will learn something you didn't know before. In any case, let's dive in. Even if you are a noob, if you've spent any amount of time in power armor, you've probably figured out that running around the wasteland uses up fusion cores, and that when one runs out, your power armor will automatically switch to a new one. But did you know that if you remove the fusion core just before it runs out completely, you can sell the empty core for the same price as a full one? Once you hear that beeping sound telling you your fusion core is nearly empty, keep an eye out on that power level. When the red dial is just above the zero, get out of your armor and remove the core. They're weightless and you can sell them for a pretty decent amount. Do you find yourself constantly running out of adhesive for modding your weapons? I sure do, especially at the beginning of a playthrough. Well, you can actually grow your own adhesive by planting a lot of corn, mute fruit, and potatoes in your settlements and then using them along with purified water to make vegetable starch. When you drop the vegetable starch on the ground and scrap it in the build menu, it will give you five adhesive. Never run out of adhesive again. Did you know that you can build a bell that will call all your settlers to you? In the build menu, you'll find it under resources, miscellaneous. Build it and then all you have to do is ring it once and it will call every settler in that settlement to you, including companions that you sent there. They go kind of slow, so it might take a while for all of them to show up, especially in larger set settlements like Sanctuary Hills. But this is a great way to find companions who for some reason really enjoy hiding, especially when you're trying to find them. It's also a great way to get all your settlers in one place so you can quickly equip all of them at once or see who's assigned and who isn't. Never thought I'd live to see that day. The way's now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come to The Lone Wanderer perk is one of the best in the game. If you get all three ranks, you'll take 30% less damage, deal 25% more damage, and your carry weight will increase by 100, as long as you travel alone. However, if you have dog meat as your companion, these bonuses will still apply. I'm not sure if this was intentional, or if it was a glitch that Bethesda still hasn't fixed, but it's pretty convenient, especially if dog meat is your favorite companion and you don't use anyone else. Speaking of dog meat, do you have trouble finding him after sending him to a large settlement like Sanctuary Hills? He tends to roam around far and wide, and the chances of finding him aren't that great, especially since he's the only NPC that won't come when you ring the bell I mentioned earlier. There is a way to keep track of him though. Just build a doghouse for him. You'll find it under Decorations Miscellaneous. Stick it somewhere in plain sight and then wait for Dogmeat to find it. It might require you to sleep for a day or so, but eventually he will find it, and once he does, he'll always stay in it or very close by, and you'll always be able to find him. Just be sure to scrap any other dog houses in the area, or he'll use those ones too. There are three dog houses in Sanctuary, and if he's already using one of them, he won't use the new one. Have you built an awesome shopping center in your settlement in the hopes of earning a few extra caps? We all have, I'm sure. 
Can't figure out how to get those caps from your shopkeepers? Well, you don't actually get it from them. You have to go along to your settlement workshop and you'll find any urn caps under the miscellaneous tab. So be sure to check it every time you visit. Did you know that you're not the only one who can wear power armor? You can make your companion wear it too. Just talk to your companion, then point them to an empty suit of power armor and tell them to get inside it. As long as they have easy access to the back of the armor, they'll get inside. If they refuse, then try to move the armor to a more accessible location. Once they're inside, they'll stay in it until you tell them to get out. All you have to do is speak to them, then ask them to exit the power armor, and they will. I need you to get out of your power armor. Ever find yourself in an area that's just riddled with mines? Sometimes they're hard to see until it's too late. Well, there's an easy way to detect them in advance by frequently activating vats as you go along. If there's a mine nearby, vats will zero in on it, instantly showing you where the mine is. You can even shoot the mines in vats if you don't care about collecting them. Did you know you can lean around corners when you have your gun drawn? This makes it easy to shoot from cover as long as you're in first person. This doesn't work in third person, unfortunately. All you have to do is face a wall near a corner and aim your gun, and you'll lean out. Stop aiming to lean back again. So much junk to collect in this game, but which one should you pick up? If you're looking for screws or copper and don't want to be burdened with a lot of other stuff, how can you tell which items are the ones you want? Well, there is a way. Just tag the components you want and they'll be highlighted when you find them. To do this, you want to switch your junk menu to component view. As you can see, now it's showing me all components that are in the junk that I've got in my inventory. So. Let's say I'm out of wood and aluminum, and I want to find items with those components in them. I just highlight the one I want, then choose Tag for Search. So you can see a little magnifying glass icon appears next to the component. So then when you search a container, you'll be able to see which items have the components that you want. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on weapons. I tagged wood for search, and this baseball bat is made from wood, and I would actually be able to get wood from it if I scrapped it, but it has not tagged this item, so that's unfortunate. The second rank of the scrapper perk will take it even to the next level, highlighting the tagged item or container containing the item in whatever color you've got your Pip-Boy interface set to. This makes it super easy to find what you're looking for. All right, that's it for this episode, everyone. If you learned something new, give this video a like. It will really help out my channel. And if you like this video and would like to see more, follow the links on the screen there. I've got a bunch more tips and tricks videos, and I've also got a Fallout 4 Let's Play, if you enjoy that sort of thing. Also, subscribe to my channel so you can be updated whenever I post new videos, which I do several times a week. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.